Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Soran. I am an artist. I was born in Siem Reap, the home of the ancient Cambodian capital of Angkor. The beautiful designs of Angkor Wat Temple and the surrounding temple, such as Angkor Thom, inspired me to become an artist. I initially studied the art of classical painting for Khmer traditional shadow puppetry with Master Nitsere from 2008 to 2012. I then apprenticed with modern painter Limbanak for two years. I began my professional career in 2015 as a director of Bandy Stage where I lead performance, choral original production, and facilitate student workshop. I promote this art form in Cambodia and internationally. Shadow puppetry is an age old tradition in Cambodia with its roots stretching back to pre encoding times. Puppets are made from scalator using handmade tools and natural tannin from candle tree bark for their color and preservative properties. So now I would like to see a video how I get the material to create a traditional shadow. So please enjoy. We don't kill the cows. The people at the village who are the one who kill the cows. And we would like to recycle the skin of those cows and create something new out of it. We want to create art. I bought cow skin from Advertoire and bring to my friend Mr. Da. The same time that Da flesh the skin, we went to Enko Forest and find the tree bark. I pray to the spirits to get permission from the God of Forest that we don't want to destroy the tree and find the tree named Kandal, the tree that has bitter taste. So when I take the bark and cooking, the color of the tannin have a lot of importance. First, to divest smell, second, to be a natural color, and third, we can create puppet to perform many, many years. And this is how we cook the tenant. When we get the color, Da use his broom to pair the skin with the tenant. After three days, if no rain and with good sunshine, we can get high quality of this cow hide. So da use his soft knife and cut it out. So you can see how big up this cow hide. To be a puppeteer in Cambodia, we need to know more skill. We need to know how to make the tool. We need to know how to make the hammer. It's a lot of process, a lot of work to get a beautiful a puppet. Now we get a tool, we have hammer, we have cutting block. This is the way how we create Khmer traditional shadow puppets. Recently, I received the National Award for Traditional Leather Design from the Ministries of Culture, National Art Festival 
focus on the episode Rama Shoot His Arrow. I am currently a studio director at Kabai Gallery in Phnom Penh, where I manage artist studios while being a leather puppet artist in residence. I am continuing to build my knowledge and engagement with the art community in Phnom Penh through course and social equity and Cambodian living art. It's important to me to preserve the traditional art form shadow puppetry in Cambodia. I don't want to see people to disturb by smartphone and fast technology that they forget about the importance of our rich history and culture. It takes time to make something beautiful. And this is true, especially for my puppy. We bought smartphone every two years. But traditional Khmer Shadow puppetry has less more than 1,000 years. It showed me that the beauty of art never fades. Khmer traditional Shadow puppet is the old art form in Asia that I need to preserve it. I am a Khmer Shadow puppet maker. I don't want the world to know Cambodia by only Khmer and poor country. I want to show the world of the beauty of Khmer arts, culture, rich history as in Korean time and is still alive nowadays.